Belle here from Southern Belle, and today we are going to try some sweet and fiery fruit gushers. Hi y'all, Belle here, like I said before, I'm going to be trying these sweet and fiery gushers. I love gushers. I love the normal uh, packs. They're so delicious to me. I don't know why. I just... Maybe it's just the kid in me. This pack looks, like if you pull it out, it looks just like a gusher, so I can hand it to you and you have no clue. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I'm nice, some days. But, <laughs> we're gonna try this out. This, I thought would be interesting. I'm not really big for hot stuff. If y'all know me, if y'all seen my channel, y'all hear me talk about it, I'm a big baby. I'm the biggest baby that there ever was. So I don't normally eat hot stuff. But I was like, hey, this might be good. I also have a box of sour gushers too that we're going to go ahead and try also. Um, but let's go ahead and try this sweet and fiery fruit gushers. Now if any of y'all try this, let me know down below if you've tried this, uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, or even if you haven't liked it, what do you think of the flavors, and just let me know if you like the, the video or not. Um, I like doing stuff like this, and y'all know I'm not big on, you know, heat and hot stuff, but I thought maybe I could maybe handle this. You know, I know I'm a big baby, but, you know, that's just good. So, if it is too hot for me, I do have, of course, my Dr. Pepper on hand and ready. You know I do. Dr. Pepper, please let me be a part of the Pepper Pack. But I always got it here. You know I love Dr. Pepper, if you watch my channel. And uh, let's get into it. Let's see. There are some three flavors on this box. There is hot mango, fiery peach. I see watermelon. I don't actually like watermelon. I'm gonna eat it, of course, but I don't like artificial watermelon. And I don't really like real watermelon either. I don't really like any kind of melon in general. Um, but I don't. I tend to not even like the artificial flavors. The artificial flavors are even way more. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try this. It says a sweet treat that packs some heat. We'll see, right? Um, I also have sour gummy sour gummy sour uh fruit gushers that i will try but let's get into this first and then i will show you the sour next so like i said it's a normal pack if i wanted to be a meanie a big meanie i could just be like here you want some fruit gushers if you like them some people don't like them and um you'd never know you'd never know but i'm a nice person some days smells like gushers. It doesn't really, it doesn't smell hot, at least. Let's take a look at the, uh, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a couple of these back. I'm just gonna try to pull out one flavor. Ooh, that's the only hard part. When you rip, when they're all bunched together like this, you try to rip it apart, it's like the, the ooze comes out because you tear it. Uh, oh, actually, I put this big old clump back. I got some over here. So, let me show you the three, let's see, I need my box, my handy dandy box to tell me what's what. So the green one was the hot mango. I don't really know if I'm much for mango. The inside appears to be a different color um, than the outside. I don't know if y'all can really see. It. it smells like gusher, but it doesn't smell like gushers. Like it smells like, it doesn't smell hot, but it smells like it could be sweet and hot. I don't know if y'all have ever had um like any kind of Mexican meal. They have a lot of mango though, I think. So let's go ahead and first try the hot mango. This orange one is the fiery peach. This looks pretty much the same through and through. And then the spicy watermelon looks pretty much the same through and through. I think they're all red inside, I think is what it is. That's why this one looks a little bit better. So let's start with the hot mango. I never got my dark pepper on hand. Not bad at all. Like it tastes like the, you know, like the kick that you want from spiciness, but without the spice. You know what I mean? Like it's like there's a certain taste to spiciness to me. I've had candy though. I've had candy with the the red, like I don't know what it's called, chili stuff on it or whatnot, whatnot. So I've had that, and to me, that's what it tastes like. 
because I've had lollipops that had that chili stuff all on it. And that's kind of what it tastes like to me. So that was good. I liked it. Let's go ahead and they're probably all going to have that little same hint on all of them, just the different flavors. So let's do the orange fiery peach. It's definitely like the Mexican candy, the more you eat, the more it's, you know, I guess harder to handle. But it's really not. No, I, I'm a big baby. Take it from me, guys. I am the biggest baby when it comes to hot stuff. And this is okay, but I don't know how many I can eat of these. We'll see. We'll see if I can eat the whole thing. Oh, I just wanted to warm them. I don't really like warm them, but I'm going to do it for y'all. I don't like warm them. <laughs> The watermelon was not bad at all. The the worst one, I don't know if it was because it was the second one or not, but the fiery peach for me had the most, I guess, spice. It literally tastes like chili or whatever that's on the Mexican candy. It literally just tastes like that. I don't know, like, have you ever had candy where it had that red stuff all around it, like the red? Let's see, I ate three so far, so let's see. And of course, I'm eating the one that I said was the hot, but it could just be because it's not hot. It's not hot either. It's just spice. It literally is just spice. I really feel like the the peach one has more bang for your buck. Yeah, I just ate another watermelon. It was not so bad. Like, I don't like watermelon. I don't like the taste of it. But the fiery part of it was not bad at all. This peach one packed more of a punch. Let me taste another green one. I only have one more green one and then they're all peach. Yeah, that one's not bad either. I think I've eaten five so far. I don't know how many is in a pack. It just, it just like it differs. I swear, these, the peach ones are the ones that really have the most fire, sweet, whatever, sweet and fieriness. I mean, look, I only have two more and I've eaten a whole pack. Anybody can do this. I did this, you can do it. It is sweet and just a little bit of kick to it. But I'm telling you, just so y'all know, I, I each time I've eaten these, the orange ones are the most. I only had two greens and like, I think two reds, I think also. They gave me a whole crap ton of um, peach ones. These have the most kicks to it. The most, I wouldn't even say a kick. I don't even know what you want to call it. I think these are good too. I think, look, I won't say the whole thing. I probably could eat more. I just got them to try them. So y'all let me know if y'all have had these and let me know what is your favorite flavor. Honestly, I really like the mango one. I like the green one. Like I said, I don't like watermelon at all, but the watermelon was the least hot. I don't, it was, none of it was hot. It's just all spice. So, um, well, I guess that's what hotness is. But uh, this one I like the best for taste-wise. This one was the least, I think, spicy or fiery, and this one was the most. So, and I can eat a whole pack, for no problem. I'll probably eat more. So, now I'm trying to drink this. Drink this. But let's go ahead and go on to the sour one. Well, I thought I had the sour sour um, gushers in the car, but I don't. So I was going to try that for y'all too, because I'm here waiting. But I don't have it, and I don't know where it went. So it done walked off, wandered off, I don't know anything. But if you ever tried those, you know feisty or whatever it's called um fruity feisty fruit gushers thing with you uh let me know um they're pretty good i personally wouldn't eat a whole lot because i'm just not into hot stuff and eventually over time it will get you know hot but i can eat a whole little baggy thing you know so if i can do it and be all right you're fine <laughs> everybody else in the world is absolutely fine um, I hope y'all like this video. I know it's a short video, but I thought I'd go ahead and get a video out to y'all because I absolutely love y'all and I wanted to let y'all know that. 
and I'm so appreciative of all of y'all that have stuck with me no matter what, no matter where I've been, what I've done, if I've had to leave, had to come back, was able to stream all the time, y'all were there, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are absolutely awesome. Stay blessed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.